Hey everyone, welcome to my top 10 series. This week I'm going to start off with horror, which actually is not one of my favorite genres, um, but regardless, I really think there are really some hidden gems in this genre, and I just wanted to share each one of them with you uh, one by one. Uh, I'm going to go dissenting order. Just remember that th these are my picks, these are my favorite uh, movies in the genre, so if you disagree with me on any of these, that is perfectly fine, this is just my picks. So I'm going to start off with number 10. Number 10 is The Invisible Man. This is one of the, my favorite Universal Monster movies starring Claude Rains. It came out in 1933, an adaptation based off of H.G. Wells. And honestly, this movie is uh, fantastic. Uh, for its time, it was really scary. This mad scientist, Claude Rains, he pretty much uh, finds a, a serum that um, turns him invisible and this serum eventually turns him insane. And he starts going on a rampage and killing a lot of people. Um, causing lots of terror. So this is a very, very good movie. I definitely recommend this. I definitely recommend every one of the original monster, Universal Monster picks, but this is one of my favorites of all time. Moving on to number nine is Cabin in the Woods. Actually, this is a very polarizing film. Some people love it, some people hate it. I actually really didn't like it the first time I watched it, but it's a really fantastic film. It came out in 2011. Joss Whedon created this uh, monster mashup slash all the tropes of every single horror movie you could ever think of and then put it into this one movie. Um, it's definitely worth checking out if you like horror movies because I think it really is just a, an honorary film for the people who love the genre but also at the same time can make fun of it and really see uh, the humor in it. But yes, check this movie out. Uh, definitely worth your time. Fantastic film. Lots of good things. The ending is also very polarizing for some people but yes, check out Cabin in the Woods. Number eight is The Witch that came out in 2015. Now I talked a little bit about this movie previously. I actually fell in love with this movie. The aesthetics. This movie has such great acting, great cinematography, great sound. Like this, when I saw it in theaters, the sound just shook me because of how eerie and creepy this movie is. I haven't seen a movie like this in a long, long time. And definitely, I'm not a huge fan of horror movies, like I said before. And this movie turned it on its head and really gave me um, a movie that really kind of scared me a little bit. And the ending, yeah, some people don't like it. And I understand some people don't like this movie, but this is definitely a movie worth checking out. If you want old dialogue that is just really Shakespearean kind of, but also like uh, good for the timepiece that it is in, a great setting, great backup, backdrop, and great, really great story. Great movie. Check this out. The Witch is my number eight pick. Number seven is It Follows. This came out in 2014. Um, definitely a sleeper. This is a really good indie horror movie. It's about a girl. Um, who has sex with this guy and what happens is he knocks her out after after the sex and pretty much what happens is he tells her that there's this thing that's going to start following you and it will kill you eventually unless you pass it on through you know having sex with another person and, and then if he if she dies then he, she the thing is going to come after the guy as well so it goes down the line but it's a very very cool uh, take on horror um, because this thing shifts into uh, whatever it wants to be. It could be someone you know, uh, it could be someone you don't know, but it's walking towards you in a, in a slow pace, of course, so you can drive away from it, but it'll eventually find you and come for you. But yeah, definitely check out It Follows. My number six pick is my favorite universal horror monster movie, and that is Frankenstein starring Boris Karloff. But yeah, it completely veers a little bit off from Mary Shelley's book and novel, but uh, this movie is fantastic, and I actually think that Boris Karloff, his image still lives on to today. And this came out in 1931, and honestly, this is not a horrifying movie for me. Um, however, it's a very humanizing film to me because honestly, you have to kind of feel kind of sympathetic for the monster, but also at the same time, he is what he is, and so he you know he kills and he hurts people. He doesn't mean to though. But yeah, he sets out. Not to be so bad, but the th people around him really want to make him uh, this monster that that's what he is. Trying to help other people and while also at the same time becoming a monster. Definitely recommend this movie out of the original Universal Horror Monster movie picks. This is definitely my favorite. Definitely go check out Frankenstein. Alright, number five, Jaws. Now some people might say this is not a horror movie, Nathan. What are you talking about? To me, this is actually a horror movie, especially when you ask the people who watched this movie in 1975 when this movie came out. It made people scared to go into the water, and still holds up to the day. And yeah, it has some iconic music that 
really does kind of give away when the shark attacks. And sometimes there's parts in this movie where the shark attacks and you don't even know it because the music's not even playing. And that's something a lot of monster movies try to copy, but also at the same time try to revamp the same aesthetics that Steven Spielberg did for this movie. But this movie is terrifying, and it's, it honestly, it has really some memorable dialogue uh, from the captain, some really hilarious dialogue that has been spoofed to death. But um, yeah, definitely check out Jaws, and this is my pick for number five. Red rum, red rum. The Shining. Okay, Stanley Kubrick in 1980 created a masterpiece with this movie, and Jack Nicholson did a hell of a performance here. Definitely worth checking this movie out because it is just, the cinematography that Kubrick uh, conveys really just shows the depravity and psych psychological spiraling downward into Jack Nicholson's mind, and it just goes insane. And there's lots of su supernatural things that happen in this movie too. It threw me for a loop the first time I saw it uh, when I was younger. But yeah, this movie is really scary. Also at the same time, very iconic and definitely worth checking out. Definitely go watch this movie. The Shining is fantastic. All right, number three. Alien came out in 1979. I think this is a horror movie slash sci-fi movie and not the other way around. Uh, this movie is definitely very, very scary and Ridley Scott did a very, very fantastic job. I actually cannot wait for the new Alien coming out this later this year um, because I honestly think it's going to be try to try to be a return to form to this and Alien 2, which are the best in the Alien franchise. Uh, but yeah, definitely check this movie out. It's one of the most terrifying things ever. And honestly, Sigourney Weaver's performance in this movie is just flooring. But yeah, Sigourney Weaver's performance in this movie make this movie so enjoyable, so claustrophobic, and so psychological at the same time. Definitely check out Alien. It's a horrifying movie. Um, it started a really good franchise uh, with some horrible movies in there in between, but uh, I won't hold that against them because this movie is fantastic. Definitely go check out Alien. All right, my number two pick is 1982's The Thing. Now this is my personal horror film of all time, but my number one I think is more iconic in my, in my uh, opinion, but also very, very enjoyable. But The Thing is John Carpenter's one of his best films he's ever made. The soundtrack I just always remember. Um, I always remember that opening shot with the dog getting chased by the helicopter, getting shot at. But this movie is scary. It holds up. Its practical effects are really, really well done. Kurt Russell does a really fantastic job trying to figure out what this this thing is. What this movie is all about is, like I said earlier on, the dog is getting chased by a helicopter. We don't know. The dog gets uh, put in a kennel with the other dogs. Yeah, this is up in Antarctica, by the way. What happens is, slowly but surely, this thing turns into whatever life form it needs to be by killing off something, but it does it in secret so you don't know who is who or what is what. And so this movie is fantastic, super scary. Definitely go check this movie out. I think it's my favorite horror movie of all time. But I'm going to get to an even scarier movie that I think really scared the crap out of audiences. All right, my number one is The Exorcist, coming in in 1973. This movie is terrifying. It still holds up to today. And I think it's still the best of all the Exorcist films, or Exorcism of Emily Rose, Exorcism, any of the demon films that ever have come out cannot top this movie because of the cinematography on this just this light shot this this street light it's just it's so eerie and iconic the characters in this movie know what they're doing and especially um, the little girl who I cannot think of the name especially the little girl Ellen Burstwin who is who plays the uh, the person getting possessed the demonic girl but yeah this movie is scary apparently it was on TV um, when it got, came out, and I have several of my older friends, and even my father, have told me when he watched this when he was younger, like yeah, like this was on television, like this rated R movie that is like just super scary and scared all of them. They were little kids when this came out, and so I couldn't imagine watching this on TV or your parents watching this and being like, this is okay to be putting on TV. This movie still holds up to today, and definitely is the best horror movie of all time, in my opinion. But yeah. Definitely check out The Exorcist and definitely check out all the movies I've just talked about on my list. So with that being said, these are my top 10 horror movies of all time. Sorry I didn't go too much into depth with some of them, but I just didn't feel like describing each one of them because honestly I could just do a review of each of them. But yeah, this has kicked off my top 10 series. Next week we're going to be doing romance. So yeah, let me know what you think down below. Like, comment, share, and I'll see you next time. I'm not jonesing around.